Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. So the talk back with another video. I'm Strange Wink, he is Nate. Today we're looking at new movies for our Rotten Tomatoes reaction and start off with coming when with Coming America 2. Like no God! No God, please no! 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 I reviewed this movie. This is a rare occasion where all these movies, uh, I have a review up on the channel, so you can watch them all. Yay! But I'm somewhere in the 50s too. I gave it a little bit higher than a 52%. I think mine was like a 57, 5.7 out of 10 wings. But I'm surprised the audience hated it more at a 48%. That's surprising to me. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I haven't watched it. I kind of still want to watch it just because I liked the first one so much. But I said it when we did our trailer reaction, man. It just doesn't work. Like, and I was talking to someone about it today. It's not just that the style of comedy from 80s and 90s movies just doesn't translate well today. And I don't mean like the political incorrectness and stuff like that because like coming to America, the original, like it's not even that problematic by today's standards. Oh. There's, like, and, dialogue in that movie where, like, oh, the sexist priest, like, they got out of their way. In to this like, one? Yeah, to make the first one seem problematic as fuck. And I was like, oh, why bury your own movie? Yeah. I, like I said, it's not it's not as problematic as a lot of other stuff has been, right? But, like, it's, it's everything about, like, even, like, the way stuff looked back then. Like... You can't watch a movie with that style of comedy shot in like 4K or HD. And it, like even that just detracts from like whatever the allure of like this style of comedy was back in the day, which I love. So I didn't have that much faith in this. I wanted it to be good. I'm not surprised that it isn't. That's fair. Next we have Ray and the Last Dragon as sitting at a quickly first score of 95% audience score, 85%. And I understand the 85%. And I understand the 95%. I'm in the middle of these. I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to like it. But I was like, damn. I really like that movie. Like, honestly, because this, like, universe is so deep. Mm -hmm. The universe. It could be a universe and it could be deep. If they did, like, a Last Airbender type show on Disney Plus or whatever. Well, they probably this, will. That shit would be fire. Yeah, they probably will. They should. Yeah. Uh, Disney loves to piggyback off the success of its films with a TV show version. Uh, obviously, I'm well, that would make sense a lot of that. A lot of times, it's yeah, forced. no, it's definitely forced a lot of times. So, but I'm, I guess, what I'm saying is, it's nice that there's actually a time where it's appropriate, and not just like a cash grab at kids. So, have you seen this? No, not you, yet. You don't want to spend the thirty dollars on Disney Plus? Absolutely not. And that's the only reason I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it. And then I was like, well, let me see how much it is. Because I definitely wasn't going to pay $30 for live action Mulan. And then I saw that this was also $30. And I was like, not doing it. Not for one person. Well, you should go ahead and do it. Because I already used your Disney account to buy it and watch it. So oh. you got it already, bud. Nice. Next, we had a movie that honestly should have been a TV show. <laughs> and it's Chaos Walking at 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. But the audience score 75%. Who the fuck saw this movie? That was like, hmm, that's a good 75%. I gave yeah. th I gave that movie, like, I think it was, a, it's higher than 22%, but it's under 40%. That movie sucked. Like a prostitute. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the answer is over 250 people, which is actually a lot. A lot of jabronis. Co compared to how many reviews some movies get. That movie's rushed beyond belief. Like, there's so much world building that you don't get a tight, like... This should have been, I needed an hour for 13 episodes. Yeah. To really understand and appreciate what that book brought to the table. Because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, there's aliens in this world. This isn't this world. This isn't this world. Oh, girl, like, you don't understand nothing. You don't feel the, this is lacking emotion. This film sucks, like I said. Yeah. Not surprised. Uh, young, like, it's a book to movie adaptation. There's, there's just no way. Like, even with one book, there's no way that you can successfully cram a single book into a movie unless you take extra care with it. Or, unless you're Harry Potter, 
and everybody already knows every like everybody read the Harry Potter books. Like, and I'm I, well, not everybody, and like I'm sure that there are like a minority of people whose first exposure to Harry Potter, at least like in my age group, because I'm sure like there are plenty of kids who see the movies now before they see the books. Like it worked for that because it was already wildly popular. I like reading. I pay attention to books. I've never heard of this. And like, granted, I'm out of my young adult novel phase, but I still enjoy the movies. I'm not surprised by this at all. It just doesn't work when you try to take something that has such deep like lore and world building and cram it all into one movie. I think you'll kind of like it. Oh, I'm sure that there are parts of it that I would find like endearing, but like pacing is a big thing for me in movies. And like, I could like, I just like, I already got that sense from this, that this was going to be. You know, this remind me of it remind me of another movie that absolutely nobody saw, uh, called The Mortal Instruments, uh, which was a book series that I loved very much, and they did the same thing. They like, they mangled shit up. They tried to put stuff from the second book and the first book and like write the story to make it their own way and unique, and it was rushed. It is absolute garbage because that was a world that required a lot of explaining and exposition for you to understand like how it works. So I figured this was going to be a lot like that. To rewind a little bit, you said you read? Yes. Nerd alert! Next, last but not least, well certainly at least because I thought this movie was kind of garbage too, is Boogie at 44%, audience score 66%. I could understand why an audience who's watching a film for entertainment and not looking at what I look at when I watch movies because I want that I want quality along with entertainment this is lacking quality the acting's not good the story isn't that good you don't believe the relationships in the film the chemistry isn't there it's just it's a very 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 good story mm. bad execution yeah so when we watched the trailer for this, I like I kind of had that feeling that this could have been like an on the line movie. You know, I didn't think it was going to be like great, but I was like, that could be like a really good like sports movie that's also about diversity. Oh, nothing. The basketball is garbage. I've seen you play better basketball than some of these people in this goddamn movie. <laughs> nice. Um. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Question for you. Obviously, Ray of the Lost Dragon is the only fresh movie we reacted to mm-hmm. and take, the only one i plan on watching take that one out of the picture you gotta watch one out of the three which one are you watching coming to america yeah that's an easy that's a good e- choice. easy call yeah i don't think i've ever agreed with uh the critics like been so closely agreeing to the other critics yeah on every single movie and we've never had a review up on the channel for every single movie so check those out there's been honest throughout the video tell me what you thought about these movies down in the comment section below scroll back up hit the like button share the video and Subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red skin.